We've now reached the position where we've learned all the tools needed to create PHP code to get user input so as to insert a new record into a database table. Like before, we create two files, one to accept keyboard data entry. This is an ordinary HTML form, although we've used PHP to do it. The second form collects the posted data, puts it into an SQL statement and runs the SQL insert statement to insert the data into the database. Let's look at how we do this. On a completely fresh code pane, using the snippet forms dollar post company create. Copy the file name and save this in the forms directory. Similarly, on a fresh code pane, do the same with company save. This will be the second script that collects the data and saves it. So we have our two forms saved, our two scripts. Company create, which is the first script that allows us to enter the data from a keyboard, and company save, which takes that data, the posted data, and saves it into the database. In company create, as always, we can collapse the parts that we already know. We have a header that simply says new company creation form and that's simply echoed to the browser with a break. And then we have a form. Expanding the form. The form has a name, post company, that's simply good practice. When we click on the submit button, it goes to the script company save.php, this one here, and it uses the method post. And there are a number of input type statements of type text and they have different names corresponding one to one with the fields in the T company table and finally a submit button and these are laid out in an HTML table to make it easy to read. Secondly we have a company save script we can collapse connection script and the header and we have several parts to this. We collect the data with dollar post we create an SQL statement, we check the data and save it. We've also got in here an href command that allows us to click on create another company that returns us to the company create script or to the home page and we'll come to that shortly. First of all look at the collection of data with the post construct. Each variable name equals dollar $post query string name corresponds to one of the input statements in the first script. So this one, input type is text, and the name of the variable is company name, corresponds to this one here. Notice that it doesn't need to be the same as the name of the field company name, which you may recall was simply name. Let's look now at the SQL statement that we need to create. It's obviously going to be an insert statement, and remember, insert comprises several parts, a comma separated list of field names. Remember the field names for T company were prename, name, registration type, street A, street B, etc., followed by the values keyword, and in parenthesis, a comma separated list of the values in one to one correspondence with the comma separated list of field names above. So we set these values, prename equals the posted value of the prename text box on the previous script and so on. So that part simply creates our SQL statement. The final part checks the data and here's a new construct. It says if the company name is empty, and empty is a PHP keyword that says if it's null or has no string in it, simply echo cannot add company with no name. Otherwise, else, echo the SQL statement that caused this to happen. If the MySQL query command on that SQL statement works fine, then echo used successfully to add new company. And if it doesn't, echo failed to add new company. Let's look at those scripts running. Back to the forms folder of our local host server, and here are our two scripts company create and company save. Well, we clearly need to run company create first, and it provides us with the form that we expected. 
Let's put in a new company here, the Keish Company PLC 99. and save. And as we expected, there's a header, SQL statement, an echo of the actual SQL statement used, insert into T company, comma separated list of field names, followed by the values keyword, comma separated list of values. And from our script, we will recall that used successfully to add new company is exactly what we had hoped for. And now we can either click to return to the home page or create another company. Create another company returns us to that. Clicking save here says cannot add a company because we didn't put a company name in. Clicking to home page sends us back to that old link that we created many lessons ago. Just a trivial example from some time ago. It's now a good time to change the home page so that it's a list of links to pages we'll actually use in the project. So on a fresh code pane, go to the snippet, project, index, index1, and I've prepared a snippet here for you. It simply has a link to the company create script that we've created in this lesson. Now save this, not in the forms folder, but in the top level hdocs folder as index.php. This is going to be the top level home page of our project and overwrite. Going back to the browser, we don't want this old home page anymore, so let's refresh it. And we have now our new home page, which has a heading and a single link to our new Create New Company script. You can probably see that we're starting to create the rudiments of a contact management system.